Hello, in 4 h and here. Uh, another quick video here. Uh, if you're wondering what power line noise sounds like, I mean, and I say this because, I mean, I have many viewers who are new to amateur radio. Uh, this is not terrible power line noise. My power company has come out and worked on the poles, but uh, it's generally caused by loose hardware or dirt on the insulators, things like that. But that's, uh, I'm on 10 meters right now. Not even sure if the band's open. I just tuned over here to check, but uh, look at the S meter. That's my noise level currently on 10 meters. I am using amp one. Uh, that would be, you know, RF amplifier uh, amp one. So uh, not maximum sensitivity, but you might would call that normal sensitivity at least for 10 meters. So let me turn it up a little bit and let you hear the grind. Now I'm going to engage the noise blanker in this radio. It's not a, not a bad noise blanker here on the FTDX 5000. And it took it down. You'll see NB in the display here, indicating the noise blanker is enabled. And that noise blanker will typically deal with power line noise. Now there's a second one if you watch my display right next to where it says NB. It's going to add a W to it. That's the wide noise blanker. And essentially what that's for is to combat things other than power line noise. If you, you know, it could be, you know, these wall wart power supplies and things I've talked about in other videos. Uh, uh, there are many other sources, uh, wireless phone chargers, uh, computer power supplies too, like for a laptop. But uh, the wide noise blanker, you know, only use that if you have to, because it does have a tendency, if especially if you set it, at too high of a level to cause distortion. So again, there's the noise. And again, that's not terrible. Okay, I've had it up to 15 over nine. <laughs> All right, so the power company's done a pretty good job. And by the way, this normally happens when you have a sunshiny day with low humidity, which is what I have today. Um, look out the shack window there. So uh, what, happens with low humidity is um, the electrical charge on the pole that you know is going to arc over say to a piece of hardware it has to build up to a much higher voltage before it arcs over and that's what you're hearing you're hearing the arcing that's what's causing that buzz when you've got a higher humidity there's moisture in the air and as you well know from uh, physics uh, moisture can conduct electricity very well. That's why you don't ever want to, you know, drop a toaster into the bathtub, right? Um, or, or a blow dryer, I guess, would be more practical. Who puts a toaster in their bathroom? Okay, but um, the idea there is that at the higher humidity, then that charge doesn't have to build up as high before it just uses the air molecules, the moisture in the air, to jump over to uh, the other... Uh, you know, like I said, it could be loose hardware, whatever, but another path, looking for a path uh, to ground. And so, uh, you know, that's what you're hearing when you're hearing this buzz. And the lower the humidity, the higher the voltage will have to build up. And in theory, you know, you would have even more uh, noise here. Uh, now, what the reason my noise level is low right now is because they have come out here and worked on a lot of the poles that are nearer to my house. Like I said, I used to have up here at about 15 over 9 um, on some bands when I had low humidity. And uh, so they've worked on it. They've been changed out insulators. They've just found literally just loose bolts. And they've fixed all of that. So probably what I'm hearing now is a noise from a pole that's further away. And, uh, you know, FYI, it's almost never a transformer. So if you call your power company and say, hey, you got a bad transformer and it's interfering with my ham radio, they're going to chuckle. They may not chuckle to your face or <laughs> over the phone, but they're going to they're gonna be laughing under their breath because it's almost never a transformer. It's almost always loose hardware, bad lightning arrestor, um, dirty insulators. So the insulators uh, near my house, they've been replacing with a, um, a polymer type. And rather than the old glass type, and that has helped. But anyway, I thought I'd take advantage of that opportunity for you to see and hear what power line noise sounds like. And again, I'm going to end this on a high note, noise blanker. Now see there, the noise blanker is not, it's getting a little worse as the day goes on. I mean, I'm going to turn off uh, the noise blanker. See, 
it's up to an S2 now. And noise blanker's pretty much handling it. Now, the wide noise blanker may be able to take enough of other extraneous noise out there to even knock it down a little lower. Let me go to the wide blanker. No, not really. So that is power line noise. All right. So I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Thank you, Patreons, for helping me keep the channel going. Uh, if you like this type of content, you can vote with your wallet for me to keep producing these videos. And what I mean by that is a small monthly donation to the channel to help me justify the time away from family and, um, well, and away from just getting on the radio and enjoying it myself. I, I come down here, I get in the shack, and I see these opportunities that are, I think, teachable moments, and I guess can't help but shoot a video about it and, uh, and upload it so that someone who might be struggling with these things uh, can be uh, helped by it. So if you like this type of content, consider becoming a Patreon supporter of the channel. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. That's patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And don't forget, I've got a drawing coming up uh, on a, a day of my choosing, and I'm going to be giving away the ZS6 BKW multiband dipole that I featured in a video a few weeks ago. It will, it will go to one of the Patreon supporters. Now, it will be going to a paid Patreon supporter. So uh, just bear that in mind. But the other thing you can do to help the channel is like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, uh, click the bell and you'll be notified when I upload the next video. Hey, again, thanks for watching in 73 from N4HNH.